Welcome to Hammy's race number three. Four, three. Here we go, two, getting started one. on the Super Hammies. And I missed my clip in, so now I'm automatically behind. So, to quickly explain what a Hammies race is, is it's basically an all out sprint with everybody racing. Uh, there's no categories, there's no, you know, Cat 1, Cat 2s, etc. So, what we have here is the third race of the series, the final race, and uh, this has got a bit of construction zone, obviously, and then a whole load of really tight single track. So what I'm doing right here is we're just making our way through the construction zone, through these, uh, these homes, these home lots, and I hear we're getting ready to head into the single track, so I'm trying to find my spot in line, I'm probably, I'm probably eight to ten deep at this point and uh, we cut into the single track here and this is these are brand new trails and they are incredibly tight uh, not super technical in any in, in that stretch of the imagination but it is it's tight it's a lot of off camber and uh, a lot of just real quick turns and as you can see it's just it's just a lot of this a lot of this real tight stuff. A couple little whoops in places. Uh, you, if you can, if you can get through the the tightness of it, you can carry some decent speed through here. Uh, this is probably the most open section of this set of trails. So right now, I'm just simply trying to maintain position with where I'm at. Uh, just stay with this guy and uh, just see what happens. So we're racing right now what's called the Super Hammies. So this is basically a two-lap race. Um, you're timed on your first lap uh, based on your age. So your age group will get timed on your first lap. Uh, and then the second lap, it's just overall time everywhere. So uh, not everybody is racing two laps, but those of us doing the Super Hammies, uh, obviously we're racing two laps. So we're still in the middle of lap one going through this super tight um, quick section that guy in front of me he was on single speed he was absolutely just blistering it so again just more and more real tight I had been able to pre-ride this for one lap so I knew kind of what was happening but I this was a basically brand new trails to me and probably brand new trails to most people uh, and the tightness is it's hard to it doesn't even come across on, on screen but the, the turns on some of these are just super tight so again more more tight watch out for those trees man they'll come out and grab you if you're not careful so here's where it gets interesting this is my buddy Pete he passes me here so now my goal is uh, I'm just gonna stick on his wheel as best I can and uh, mark him because I know he and I are pretty close in fitness so um, want to see what I can do, see if I can keep up with him, and then, if, if possible, get him on the first lap. So, coming up, to, came out of the trails, now we're back into some construction zone, and we're about to turn up, go up into, turn back up into the trails here in just a little bit. So, this is a fast little bit, off camber right here. That's more tight. This is a quick little section, and if you weren't careful, Real sharp turn comes right there, and uh, it, it's sharper than it looks in that. But so it's just a lot of a lot of this just windy, tight trail. So here we are again. I got still got Pete up there in front of me. He's got he's he's comfortable distance ahead of me. Lack of concentration right there nearly hit the tree. So we're climbing up out of this trails down by the river, making our way back up. Now I've got back back on Pete's wheel. So now I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna sit here, and we're just gonna we're gonna ride with Pete for a little bit. Got some of the Nike kids passing us. Pete nearly nearly lost it there. That was a fast little transition through there, uh, off camber too. We go back into the tight tight woods. And there's another little little. Uh, concentration laps, pick the bad line, clip the tree, and a real tight uphill turn. 
still where I want to be. I'm right on Pete's wheel. So now we're just about done with the trails here. We're going to drop off this hillside back down into the construction zone and then uh, it's a little bit of green, a little bit of a greenway trail and then it's uh, hit the road back to the start. So right now we're just marking Pete. back on the road and I feel good so I'm like alright now I'm gonna give it a little dig and I'm gonna see if I can get past Pete and I'm gonna try to stay away. So now it's just dig 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 up this hill. Just keep pushing. So now we're making the hard left turn back to the start. The guy popped me right at the, the end there. I could have tried to get him right here in this little turn but it wasn't worth it. We're not racing for money or anything like that, so there's no reason to try to race somebody for something like that. But that's lap one complete of a super handy race. So now lap two is you just do it all over again. But since you were, since uh, on the two lap, you were basically racing everybody that was doing two laps, regardless of age. Uh, I tend to use this just to kind of cool down a little bit. I still, I still ride it hard, but I don't ride it as hard as I rode the first lap. Since the first lap, your time for your age group. Um, but on on second lap, it's just everybody for themselves. So we're just winding back through the trails. Same old, same old. Oh, except that Pete's caught me. So now it's like, ah, now i got to put a little bit more effort into this. So I'm just going gonna, gonna to try to stay with Pete. I'm gonna try to try to keep him in front of me, keep him within distance, and see if I can reel him in. But he's he's quick through here. He was he was smooth and fast through these tight sections. Put a little bit of a gap on me now. bigger and bigger. I have run out of steam a little bit here. He's Now you can see how far away he is. He's about to turn back up into the trails. So now now Pete is out of out of visual range. I'm good right now. And this is just one of the, the Nike kids who was racing to race. Caught up to him for a little while and then uh, we got to the hill and he just sort of motored away from me. This is where I was pretty much out of gas. It's deceiving that this this is it looks flat, but that's it's not. It's you're going uphill and it's it's rough grass. And then uh, heading back down. Now this is the downhill stretch. This is the final final stretch where you hit the hit the construction zone and then you're back into the uh, little greenway and then back onto the road. this point, I mean, Pete was way up the top of the hill. He he crested the hill and I was probably too far back, so I really couldn't, well, I knew I wasn't gonna reel him in. So now it's just a matter of who can I, who can I reel in? So, <laughs> this kid, he, he caught me on the hill and uh, gave, me, gave me that look back. So I'm like, all right, it's on, man. So here we are, this is the final stretch. We're heading into the, into the last left-handed turn. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a race. We'll see what he's got. So you can't tell, but he's right on my inside. So I had to go wide because I didn't want to cut him off. And uh, as we pushed through here, managed to just stay ahead of that kid. He, he, he gave me a nice little race at the end, so that, that was fun. But that's basically what a super hammy race is. It's two laps of just all out, sprinting, racing, and a lot of fun. Looking forward to them next year.